and welcome to the Philippines. Going to be taking a look at a one-bedroom condominium at Avida Condos, Avida Towers, uh, in IT Park, Cebu City. And uh, this is a, a subscriber of mine contacted me and said it's been open for uh, vacant for a long time. He's uh, stuck. Him and his wife stuck back in America, I believe, back in the USA part of America. And this is a one-bedroom, probably about 30. 38 square meters I'm guessing. 38 square meters is about 409 square feet and uh, the way to do that if you multiply square meters by 10 you come close and then add a few. Uh, anyway it's got a stove in it, microwave, water dispenser, um, uh, kind of a nice nice uh, interior design area there. A uh, little couch, love seat, nice size television, which is nice. Some of these places are very small. I'm not sure if he wants to rent this out or not. He's he's not in uh, any hurry to rent it out. I know that it's paid for, so he he doesn't really need the cash flow, I guess. And waiting for him to get back to me on that. This particular uh, agent that he put me in touch with, the broker, or whatever she is. Um, she uh, she thought that they were going to try to get back here and live in it in it soon themselves. But anyway, I wanted to show this to you to give you an idea of what's available uh, in in IT Park in Cebu City, and you'll find uh, similar places. Studios on average run about 22 square meters, about 230 40 square feet. One bedrooms will run anywhere from uh, 36. I've seen one bedrooms go for 32 square meters, and it basically is a is a studio they put a wall in. And I've stayed in one of those, and uh, but one bedrooms can range anyway. Where up the higher end units, you, uh, you can go all the way up into you know 100. Uh, maybe 70 square meters, uh, 90 square meters uh, would be more generally a two-bedroom. Uh, now, units here like this, before the medical crisis, would probably rent 30 to 35,000 pesos a month, I'm guessing. A location is important, IT park there, uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, IT park jobs, call centers, uh, banks, many banks there, and uh, uh, under the present circumstances, I'm not sure. Uh, I've been reading that uh, prices are dropping, uh, sale prices are dropping about 15%. I've read that rental proper uh, properties are dropping uh, 20 to 40% from where they were. So it really depends upon whether uh, whether the landlord, the owner of the unit, is motivated. You know, if they've got uh, money, money sitting in their pocket, uh, they don't really care whether they rent it out or not for another year, perhaps. But you got a little utility uh, room here for washer and dryer, and that is vented out. That is, uh, you could block that off if you wanted to. Um, I would definitely seal this room off so that I'm not air conditioning, so my air conditioning isn't isn't going into that room and out out the window as well. But decent livable size. Um, personally, I I prefer 40 to 50 to 60 square square meters, but uh, livable space. CR there with the heated water. About eight years. That sounds about right. I moved here and. I moved here five, a little over five years ago, so that would have been about right, I think. Yeah, okay. Where do you live? What province are you from? I am from Leyte, sir. Where? Leyte. Oh, Leyte. Masin? Maasin? No, Biliran. Biliran, okay. Where they get the uh, hurricanes, the typhoons. Yes. <laughs> All right, that's why you're here. Every time food is a typhoon, it's always. That's why you're here. <laughs> no, I'm here for work. <laughs> oh. So these two towers are about eight years old, she thought, and that sounds about right. Um, got a nice, real nice pool area, and these are the uh, uh, these are owned by Ayala, owned, managed, I think, by Ayala, and uh, I 
I've, I've seen the name Avida different parts of the country. I think they have Avidas in Manila, so don't get confused. Uh, a very real nice pool area. Uh, two towers set up here. Now they have several new towers uh, just around a couple blocks uh, called Ayala Riala, I think. Ayala Riala, several new towers that uh, they started, uh, people started moving into this past year or so. And they do not have a gym here yet. Uh, originally, I did videos here uh, four years ago, probably. They were waiting for somebody to rent the space and here, run the gym. Here's the new Avida Riala towers that are uh, being occupied, some of them right now. And a little bit of look around IT Park. IT Park's really kind of a, a neat area. It used to originally was the Cebu Airport. In fact, the U.S. military used it during part of World War II, I believe. And uh, you got uh, Sugbo Mercado down there. You got lots of restaurants in IT Park. Uh, you got a little bit of a walking, jogging uh, track that goes around both of these towers. Uh, so that's interesting. Gives you some space, even if you're locked up. Gives you some space to move around a little bit. And I, I spent a fair amount of time. You've got, uh, you've got a big mall down there. Um, Ayala put a new mall up that opened up about one year ago exactly. Uh, so you got the Ayala Mall. You've got a lot of these build buildings are commercial buildings with. Uh, uh, corporate, I don't know if they're headquarters, but corporate buildings, call centers, customer service centers. I uh, lived very close to this area for 17 months, and I overlooked it. My balcony did, and uh, one time I called customer service. I asked them, where are, you, where are you from? Philippines, we're in the Philippines. Cebu City, we're in Cebu City. IT Park. So what building are you in? So I said, I'm looking at your building. I'll come over and talk to you in person. Uh, so that's, uh, I find that, that a lot of customer service, my credit cards, my bank, my bank, sometimes I'm talking to South Africa, sometimes I'm talking to Egypt, but most of the time I'm talking to somebody in the Philippines. IT Park is like a city within a city. Almost anything and everything that you need right there. The mall, the restaurants, uh, the, the different bars, there's a few bars uh, that have entertainment uh, going on across the street. Sugbo Mercado, that is, I'll do a different video about IT Park here in the coming week or, or two. And uh, Seda Hotel, uh, a couple hotels, Ayala Mall's there, more buildings going up. Um, there is a gym, there is a gym th that is located in Cebu in this I or in this uh, IT park area uh, so if you want to join a gym um, there's that uh, at least one that building there kind of a different looking building on the uh, right there in the center there that is uh, Calix condominiums and then uh, there's another one called um, Asian premier premier Asian condominiums that I've done videos about Calix and those as well and for those of you who don't know I've, I've done hundreds of videos about condominiums mostly in the Cebu City Mandawi City uh, area but uh, in, a, in a few other areas Iloilo City and there's premier Asian Asia premier condo right there it was on the, the left there uh, so a lot, lot of things going on here. You could live here, and it's not a very far taxi ride. Less than two kilometers, about a mile or so to Ayala Mall, the big Ayala Mall. Not that much further to SM Mall. Um, you've got a couple other malls pretty close. You've got hospitals um, nearby. There's a dif different atmosphere compared to much of uh, Cebu. You're you're more in a you're in a business district basically. So it's a different. You're, most of the people you're around are are busy. They're working. A completely different atmosphere. Uh, you'll find so these two Avita towers, the one I just showed you. I think they have two bedroom units and studio units available as well, 
and there's the uh, Avida Riala. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if, if you're interested, like I said, I don't know whether that guy wants to rent his place out or not. Uh, uh, he'll be answering my email soon, I suspect. Anyway, uh, see you next time.